Hello and welcome back. Last week we built a head tube reamer facer tool. However, we are gonna take a little break from the front end, and in this video we'll be figuring out our seating arrangements. My original plan was to buy one of these pivotal seat tube toppers from the Solid Bikes website store. Uh, I was going to weld this right on the frame, but unfortunately they don't carry this item anymore. So I thought, no problem, I'll just buy a steel seat tube and modify it. That turned out to be uh, much harder than expected, but I managed to find this one. The idea was to take this seat post, cut the top off, and weld it right on to be an integrated style seat post. So by doing this, I don't need to buy a reamer for the seat tube, and it looks cool. But unfortunately, the seat tube topper is not steel. It's aluminum pressed into a steel post. You can see here, I made a little uh, test weld to see what kind of material I was dealing with, and uh, it turned out it was indeed aluminum. Anyway, that's not going to work, so uh, I started looking online for more options, and I stumbled upon these wedge-style seat posts. I thought, cool, all right, I'll just use one of these. Only problem, I could not find one in the size I needed, which was 27.2 millimeters. So I looked around my shop and I found this. I thought, what the hell, I'll just make my own. And uh, turns out it's even the correct size. First thing I tried is seeing if it would fit and as expected, it didn't. <laughs> Uh, that's because the inner diameter of this seat tube is slightly smaller than 27.2 millimeters. And uh, that is by design. This is to account for tube distortion during the welding process. Uh, usually the tube will take on an oval shape after welding, so to uh, fix this, uh, one would normally ream the inside of the tube to bring it back to a circle and to the correct size. But enough about that for now. This is a pivotal seat for those of you who may not be familiar with these. Uh, you most often see these on BMX style bicycles. It's got a bolt that extends down through a toothed foot and uh, that sits on top of the toothed shoe section of the pivotal seat post. So to make my wedge mod work, I'll need a longer screw I purchased this, uh, the longest one I could find on McMaster car, and uh, that one is only 80 millimeters. My original plan was to use a 160 millimeter screw, but uh, I thought I might be able to uh, still make this work, so 80 it is. I installed the screw to see what that leaves me with, and it's a paltry 37 millimeters. So I'm gonna have to uh, make the wedge cut as close to the top of the tube as possible so that uh, my button cap screw has something to grab onto. Because I'm not reaming my seat tube, I'm going to need to turn this seat post down to diameter. So I'll need to get it in the lathe. That's better. You can see I've got an interrupted cut going on here. Uh, that's because I have the live center sticking into a threaded hole. So the tube is not correctly seated in the center there. Uh, but we'll be okay because this isn't a life or death situation. Here I am testing the fit and of course it doesn't fit. The tube is uh, ovalized, and I happen to measure the widest part of that oval. So I had to take the seat post down just a tad more. I really should just uh, ream the seat tube, and it's likely I'll do that at a later time. But for now, by getting the seat post on in this way, uh, it still gives me the option to prep the seat tube any way I want later. Okay, there we go. Uh, it fits, sort of. 
I'm only able to uh, insert the post about halfway, and that is because when we get down near the welded area, the tube distorted significantly. Uh, but that's okay. Our post is never going to reach down that far. Gauging the angle and marking where to make the cut. I'll put a 40 degree slope on to this. Here, I'm drilling out the threads because we don't need those. Now I'm cutting stock for the uh, little wedge that will screw onto the end. Thank you, thank you, thanks for coming out to see the show tonight. Over here on my right, we have Sieg X2D on the milling. And to his left, C3 on the lathe. A round of applause for those guys, I couldn't have done it without you. Got some special announcements tonight. Next week, we might have the Bicycle Head Badge joining the show. Not sure if she can make it out, but hopefully she'll be able to uh, grace us with her presence. Thanks for being a terrific audience this evening. Love you guys. I'm here all week. Try the veal.